going on guys back here with um, my a1 haul from uh, free comic book day so it is now Monday so Saturday um, if you watch my uh, first videos of my haul that I got at Empire vault comics in Sacramento and then I went over to a1 after that and uh, got some pretty good deals and uh, just went and saw Captain America Civil War yesterday took my kids we all enjoyed it um, if you haven't seen it yet definitely get out there and see it um, I think they did a, a really good job and it's fitting that I'm gonna show some cat books here but uh definitely did a good job um, you know staying true to the uh, to the comic books but at the same time obviously having to change some things around to work it within the mark you know the cinematic universe so, um, you know, very, very thorough and storyline. Everyone's part was great. There was one main piece, I won't say what it is, but there was one main piece of the Civil War in the comic books that didn't happen in the movie that I was kind of disappointed not to see, but it was all right. I let that go. So. <laughs> all right, so what I did now, um, you know, I got a bunch of 50 cent and dollar stuff from uh, Empire's Vault. But I was saying that there wasn't much like Silver Age um, stuff. So A1, and I went to the Sacramento location, had 50% uh, off all back issues. So um, let's just go into it. I got a few, you know, uh, 80s uh, books here just to fill my holes. So cap uh, 349, 342. But then, I think that was it, yeah, for the 80s. Then I went into some Silver Age. Um, maybe Early Bronze Age on a couple of these. <clears throat> and some of these I got for like literally a dollar fifty two bucks. Um, you know, some of them weren't in the best condition. Like a little uh, wear there. Uh, Captain America 120. Let's get a little of this glare out of here. And we got Captain America number 125. That one's in really good condition. Number 126. These are all in, I mean, I'm not a grader, obviously, but um, they are so crisp. <laughs> this one is extremely crisp, but somebody wrote kill <laughs> on, the, on the front there. So that was kind of funny. What we got here number uh, 129, Red Skull. And we got 130. some more bronze in the modern age uh, books 181 197 I think I said before in one of my videos that like uh, Captain America was one of the first books that I actually read as a kid. I read the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Archie Adventure ones, when I was really little. But when it came to, and then, you know, Spider-Man's been my favorite superhero. But uh, in terms of actually getting down and, and, like, collecting to actually read the stories, it was Cap. A lot of these around this, you know, I would say, like, late 70s, early 80s stuff I had. And, uh... Somewhere over the years, I, I lost a good amount of my collection. And to be honest, I have no idea why or how that happened. Um, I can't remember. Number 201. 202. 210. All right, and then I got some uh, Silver Age Wonder Woman here. 
Now, this is uh, Wonder Woman number 171. I believe it's from, like, 1966. And uh, this is... I mean, I got this book for, like, a $1.50. Um, this book is in really excellent condition. I mean, there's no real creases in any of the pages. Um, you know, obviously, uh, some browning due to the age and everything, but, um, it's just interesting why this part of the cover is, uh, ripped off, but, um, you know, the dollar fifty. So I picked it up and then I, uh, who was I watching? Um, uh, Detroit Madman and how he was saying he was, uh, getting these, uh, coverless comics for dirt cheap. And then uh, printing, printing his own uh, covers with the high res image on some, uh, you know, uh, on, on a laser printer with obviously a, a paper material that's very similar to the cover. So, um, if you're watching this, Detroit Man Man, uh, I, I want to know what you're doing because I want to try to uh, start doing that myself. That's a really, really interesting uh, and fun thing to do. Seems like so. <clears throat> here's a uh, Wonder Woman number one ninety. And then I got some awesome Silver Age. A couple of books here. Tales of Suspense, number 85. Now, obviously, these aren't in the greatest conditions. There's some water damage on the top. But, I mean, these were already extremely cheap, and then getting them 50% off. I mean, it's just awesome to have these. You know, I'm not... <laughs> to be honest, you know, I'm not wealthy enough to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on these books, high grade books. So I, I, I just enjoy having the history to add to the collection. Hopefully at some point I can be wealthy enough to, to go out for those crisp, clean, high grade ones. But for a couple of bucks, I'm good with what I got. Number 88, 85, and 88. So that is that, guys. I hope you all had a good weekend. Free comic book day. I'm just loving it more and more every year. I can't wait till next year already. <laughs> Counting down the clock. Um, what else do we got up here in Northern California? We got um, Stockton Con coming up in August. We got another SAT Con that they do semi -annually, annually in uh, October. So some some good things going on. I think um, South South City South San Francisco is having a, a a con in a couple of months. So a lot of good things. I want to show you guys one more thing. My um my room's a little messy right now with everything going on in here. I wanted to show you guys this. Got this new clock. I found it at um was it Ross for like five bucks? No, it was Target five dollars. On clearance heck yeah I seen this at Ross I think for like maybe like $15 and I was like eh five bucks huge pickup love it <laughs> all right guys till next time